Hi folks, uh, I know, I promised I wasn't going to do a bunch of videos with these things on, but this is what we're testing right now. So, here's a, the second, or the first follow-up to the initial unboxing and first impressions. I like these. Um, I don't care about the LED lights, but I figured I better turn them on so the gamers could be like, oh, he has LED lights. What I do like is the microphone. I think it works really well. I'm not talking very loud. It's late, late, late at night. I lay down for a nap, slip right through the alarm. What's new? And, uh, so I thought I woke up and, well, after charging up everything else, these don't require charging. And it's nice. I you know, you plug them in. Because right after work for the first couple of hours, I listen to videos. I watch other reviewers' videos. You know, left feedback and commentary. And, uh, that's my usual pattern. I spend more of my life watching other people's videos and making my own. Uh, these are pretty good. And they're plug-in. So you really don't need to worry about are they charged up or not. Okay, and as far as the LEDs go, I can reach down here to my little USB-C hub and yank the plug and the lights will go out. But we, the mic would continue. Everything would continue to work. Overall, the headphones sound good. I watched quite a few videos, and then I looked on Prime. I was going to take the night off completely. Uh, but when I finally did wake up, I was like, well, I better do a follow-up. And there will be one final review of these. So, once again... We're filming on the Mi A2 using the M4 tripod. Uh, this is kind of short and to the point. And uh, not much else to tell you. I did get the Android One update to uh, the October 5th security patch, which is cool. Very cool. Um, a little late. I still don't have Android 10. I'm hoping to get that anytime. Don't care exactly when, but it'd be nice. And it's just nice to have a set of headphones that don't require any kind of charging. You know, whether they be earbuds or whatever. So all that being said, currently, once again, I'm still giving these a thumbs up. Check the link in the description below to buy these. I can highly recommend them right now. I mean, like, LED-wise, I don't know. But if you just need a headset that you know will work, when you're gaming, so you can talk to your fellow people with their pretty lights on their headsets. These are big, you know, kind of bulky, but they're supposed to be just, you know, headset y looking. Oh, uh, you know, gamer. Oh, sharp edges. Not round, round ear caps. And shiny chrome and all that but it's still a good product for the price they're dirt cheap order a set tell me what you think leave some feedback and by the way the seller paid us very quickly for our purchase and uh, 
that's good. Because we're getting there for a while. Living in China. And, well, we won't go into it. Maybe someday. Or you might see it over on my channel at TPC. That'll be linked in the description below. So if you found this useful, informative, I want feedback about the audio. How does it sound? Is it good, bad, indifferent? You should be able to hear the refrigerator in the background, but I don't think you're going to hear it like you did from one of the super sensitive lavalier mics. This tends to be very sensitive to your voice, but not pick as much of the background noise. All that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get a notification every time we put out something new. Catch you in the next one. I love the Impulse Selfie Stick. Have I ever mentioned that? Click.